the truth. God damn it, I just did like, I'm re-recording this now because I did, just did the entire video, but my mic was too low, so you couldn't hear anything I said, which is bloody annoying, but I think, yeah, according, it looks like looking to the sound thingy, it says that I'm, that I'm pretty loud, that I'm loud enough, so, let, let's just do the story. Alright. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about the time people thought that I was a burglar. And welcome back to the second video on the upload schedule. I mean, yeah, second video. And I, I haven't done one of these videos for a while because, like, I don't know. I just haven't really had many stories to tell, I guess. I, I guess I've done awkward moments, but I haven't really been doing stories that much. I've been doing the weird, cringy videos that I recorded at the holiday program and awkward moments. And that's basically it. So I'm back telling these things because I actually got a story that I remembered. And uh, let's just get right into it. So, basically I'm telling you guys how people thought I was a burglar. And the story is that I went out to my friend's house. And because I was bored, it was a Saturday, it was the weekend. So I was like, okay, well I'm going to go out to my friend's house. He hasn't lived very far. And I'll just check if he's home and if he wants to hang out or something. So I went to his house, right? I went, I walked up to his house, got there. And I got, I, I entered his, like, property, I guess, before it. And then, um... I saw that his front door was open, so I was like, oh, he must be home, because there were cars in the driveway as well. So I, I kind of like, well, I was like, hmm, and I walked up to the front door, knocked on it even though it was open, and no one was there, and no one, like, heard it or anything. So I was like, hello, and no one replied. And so I said hello a few more times, and just kind of stood there for like 30 seconds to a minute. Just kind of standing there like, awkwardly because if someone was hurt if someone's not home it's kind of bad to walk into their house but i was like sure they were home because there were cars in the driveway and stuff right so i was just kind of there and then i said hello one more time and then i just decided to take a singular step one step one step forward like i'm not even joking it sounds like something from a movie one singular step forward and then the alarm their alarm went off and now I'm just like standing there freaking out like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, what? And it was, it's really loud, it's really loud. And I was like, it was like hurting my ears. And basically, I was like freaking out. I was like, what do I do? Do I run? And for a moment, I just, I just considered just running and just like getting the heck out of there, running home. But like, I, I came to my senses after a little bit. And I realized that if, if my friend was home, which he probably was because of all the stuff that the cars in the driveway and the door being open, then he'd probably come out and say like, oh, what the heck? Why is the alarm on and all that stuff? He'd probably explain it. And plus my friend's grandparents live next door. So if they were home, they would also like, they would hear, they would hear the alarm it was that loud and they'd come running over and be like, what the heck, burglar man? And basically, um, so I just kind of stood there for about a minute until his grandparents arrived and I was like, and they said, what happened? And I told them the story and I said that I just got here, doors open, I like knocked on the door, walked in for like one step and the alarm went off. So, and they were like, oh, what the heck? They went out hours ago. They must have like forgotten to lock the door or something. And I was like, what? Because it was the afternoon. So I can understand they probably left earlier, like they probably left in the morning and had been gone the entire day. So I just kind of said, okay. Uh, they said, well, leave us to us because we know how to turn the alarm off. And uh, yeah, you, you just go run along home now, little boy. And no, your friend cannot hang out because he's out. And I was like, oh, okay. And so I just kind of went home. The end. Good story. Thanks for watching. Bye.